let's try to use the shortcuts using the increment value in order to find out the network address, broadcast address, usable IP and also number of available IP that we can use to assign to the devices. So this is the IP that we have 10.200.11.60/27. So the first thing I know that I already have 27, 27 bits that belongs to my subnet or my networks, right? So meaning that this 8 bits, 8 bits and 8 bit over here equivalents to the first 24 bits will be unchanged, right? So something that is going to change is going to be the last octets over here, where the first 3 bits is going to be belongs to your networks, another 5 bits over here is going to be belongs to my host, right? So I need to find out what is the increment value for this particular networks. So I know that the first 24 bits not unchanged, so from 24, we are going to dealing with these octets right now. So we have another 3 bits which is going to use our last octets over here. This is my slash 27, right? And the rest of them over here is going to be 0, right? So once I didn't know this information, so what is the last number 1 that hit on my network bits? which is going to be 32, right? So, meaning that this number 32 over here will be your increments value for your networks over here. So, when we already know our increment value, so we can find out what will be the first network, second network, third network, and etc. So, let's use green color over here. So, I didn't know my increment value will be 32, right? So, I'm going to list down the first network, 10.200.0. 11.0 right so the first network will start with 0 so we're dealing with the last octets octet number 4 then the second networks will be 11.32 because this is going to be our increment value then just list down another one 11.64 right so if I'm going to list it further so this is going to be the next one 200.11. So you take 64 but plus 32. This is where you get 96, right? But this is enough because right now we just want to find out what is the network address for my 11.60 slash 27 network, which is going to fall under this two range, right? 32 to 64. So because my IP is dot 60, so it's fall under this network right now. I already get my network address, right? And in this address, what is the broadcast IP address right so broadcast IP address is going to be the last IP that exists in this range which will be before 64 right so it's going to be 32 to 10.200.11.63 okay so this is your answer for your network address dot 32 and dot 63 will be your broadcast address so just put it here 11.32 I get my network address 10.200.11.63 I get my broadcast address so this two address is reserved for your network and also your broadcast right for this particular subnets so our usable IP address it should be something that in between the range of 32 to 63 so 200.11. Dot dot. The first IP address in this range will be dot 33 until the last IP that I can use assigned to my devices should be dot 62. Okay. Now to calculate number of usable IP address for this subnet slash 27. So let's take total IPv4. How many bits do they have, right? So in total they have 32 bits. And how many bits used for my networks? So 27, right? So I take 32 minus my network bits 27 to get the host bit. So my host bits is going to be 5 bits, right? So our formula will be 2 power host bits, right? Which is going to be 5 bit right now. Then later on, when I get my answer, I'm going to minus 2. So minus 2 over here meaning that I go to minus 1 address will be my network address, second address will be my broadcast address that reserved for this range. So 2 power 5, my answer will be 
refer to here, right? 2 power 5 is 32 minus 2. This is my number of IP address that I can use, which is 30 IP host IP address that I can use for this slash 27 network, which is going to be 33 until 62. Okay, thank you.